Hello there everybody and welcome to another Let's Play here on GTA World. It may not be too hectic because there are under 300 players online. I'm online a lot earlier than what I normally am, but uh, definitely be interested to see what happens here today. I'm not usually online at this time of day, but sometimes it's just nice to get online and do a nice and chill patrol. But uh, I say that, but we'll end up seeing what happens here. It could end up being a hectic one, or sometimes they're super quiet, but nonetheless, we're here on GTA World, here to have a little bit of fun. I've done a couple patrols this week already. Uh, it's also nice, I can give you guys a Let's Play two weeks in a row. First time I've been able to nail that one in quite a long time, because I've been on the schedule of about every other week. But it uh, be nice now that I can give you guys a Let's Play t for two weeks in a row, for again the first time in probably, what, two months? So. Uh, Hope you guys enjoy this one. I hope you guys enjoy the fact that uh, you get a second video here for the first time in seven days in quite a while. And we are in the trusty Crown Vic, of course, or as they call it here on GTA World, the Vapid Victor Police Interceptor, but I'm always going to call it the Crown Vic. We got the one with the wheel covers today, just to switch it up a little bit. Uh, it's cloudy in the game, but honestly, with my Visual V, graphics mod it doesn't look too bad in my visual settings it actually looks pretty sexy with the lights on the car and whatnot so uh i also installed a federal signal 80k siren which is what the san fierro uh san fierro the uh, san francisco police department uses let me see only thing is it's a little quiet so i probably won't use it too too long you'll probably just use it for this video but uh we'll see how it goes there so I hope you've all had a good week. Uh, I've been pretty busy once again. Still not feeling the best, but uh, a little bit better than last week, I want to say. So that's good. Hopefully my throat won't get sore just from uh, talking to you guys and commentating for Let's Play. Because uh, last week at the end of the Let's Play, I wasn't feeling too hot. I, I was kind of glad when it was over. Uh, so, uh, not exactly sure what I got, definitely a bug of some sort or something, so not the best thing in the world, but, uh, you take it day by day and move on. Going here on the Classic Foreign Drive where, like, half the shootings of the server seem to happen the last couple of weeks, but a lot of shootings here on Foreign Drive, so definitely a spot where you want to be very careful in. Uh, and again, we're only at 300 players, so don't expect a whole lot of traffic especially considering the size of this map. So you guys remember on Bright County you could have 100 players online and you'd see people driving quite often. Here, if you get under 300, things are definitely pretty quiet as far as the uh, traffic on the streets and whatnot goes. So we'll probably end up running a radar here and there is my guess, uh, just to try and catch a few speeders. Honestly, we haven't done any patrols on Popular Street in a long, long time either. Because remember I used to be able to take down to uh, truckers a lot on Popular Street. Kind of calmed down on that a little bit, but it was a good area to uh, be able to nab a few people, especially for a targeted enforcement, which means that you spend at least 20 to 30 minutes uh, targeting a certain or, or you're looking for certain infractions, so it could be just moving violations, speeding, or anything of that nature, parking enforcement and all that, yada yada yada. And again, uh, I think they plan on doing a couple of ops here soon, eventually to this month. I'm not sure exactly what the dates are, but they should be fun to join in on. Unfortunately, just due to the nature of those, I won't be uh, streaming any of those. Just so that way, uh, nothing gets posted that shouldn't be posted. And I think as far as radars go, right here is one of my favorite places because nobody ever sees you. Then you park right over there, so you go right up here, set your radar. That sets the entire distance, and then I will go turn around over here. See, if you pull in here, then back out, it's not an illegal U-turn anymore. Look at that. Look how intelligent I am, guys. Alright, then you go up here, and you park it. Uh-oh. Hope no one wanted to mill that grass today, because uh, I just did it for him. Then you go over here. Park your car up like so, and actually we'll go back a little bit further. Just a reminder, when you're running radar, you need to always have your car on a bit of an angle or straight ahead because if you are parking like this, and let's say the radar was right in front of me, your radar would actually read zero mile per hour because it wouldn't pick it up properly. So... So 
So, when we say radar and LIDAR, LIDAR is the gun that you would hold out the window or in a general direction, and radar, there's one attached on the front of the vehicle and towards the back of the vehicle, so just to help you guys a little bit on the uh, how that works. So, each car has a radar on the front and the back, and then you also have your LIDAR gun that you can point out the window or do whatever you want to do with that. Uh... Actually, I really do want to set up a traffic op eventually, though, out in the county, because those are always fun. For whatever reason, doing ops in the county is always fun, because the role play is a little bit different than what you get in the city and whatnot. So, it's just a bit of a different experience out in the county. You know, I'm going to be in a vehicle pursuit or in a blue blister heading southbound or McDonald's type one. Channel we are switched. heading southwest User on joined your channel. Brown Avenue, taking a northbound turn on Carson Avenue, incorrect lanes of travel, followed by User joined your channel. northbound turn on Royal Orange Symbol Ward, User joined your channel. Royal Oak, northbound User joined on your Royal channel. Oak, it's a baby blue ballista with a single occupant. We are taking a U-turn, heading southwest on Royal Oak, taking a alley here. Royal Oak still, we are going to come up on uh, Davis Medical. Incorrect lanes of travel. Northbound Davis Avenue right now. Uh, Capital Boulevard. Coming up on Strawberry Gas yes, Station. Southbound Strawberry Avenue. Passing by Carson. Passing by Carson, we are coming up on Maze Bank Arena and taking a. Never mind. Off the street, vehicle just flipped, still continuing. Southbound Mutiny Road. Southbound Mutiny Road, passing under La Puerta Freeway. And connecting on to Dutch London, we could just TC with a van rolled over again. User joined Dutch your London, channel. Northbound. And he is taking off again. Southwest Greenwich. User left your channel. Uh, three units total. Southbound on Greenwich, we are going to come up on the Los Santos Customs, about 5 seconds. Passing the Vehicle Los Santos Customs, it's a baby blue blister, single occupant. Okay, everyone's got visual, okay? We're continuing Greenwich, where it's bound, passing by the final to the fire station, continuing to towards New Empire Way, taking the northbound turn New Empire Way, spinning back towards it was exceptionalist right now. Passing under the Locker Freeway. Continuing northbound. Taking an eastbound turn. Autopia Parkway. Or Utopia Parkway. Continuing eastbound. Taking the Maze Bank parking lot. We are banning by Maze Bank parking lot. So continuing approaching. Um, standby. It's gonna be Otspy Parkway still. It's headed towards Davis Avenue on top of your parkway. Taking a northbound turn or northbound drift towards Davis Avenue. It's gonna be drifting around in correct lanes of travel, continuing northbound. Passing by Davis LTD, continuing north Davis Avenue. Passing by the Mega Mall and dealership. User joined your channel. Correct lanes of travel, Davis Avenue, put short traffic ahead, continuing northbound, passing by Fast Station 3. Continuing north by Station 3. Channel. Davis Avenue, passing by Davis Medical, continuing now eastbound in Essence Boulevard, Capital Boulevard actually. Crossing through HQ and Popular Street, continuing eastbound, Capital Boulevard, going towards Air Polo Heights and Fire Station 7, passing by the Fire Station 7, incorrect lanes of travel, approaching the Rancho Boulevard, going southbound the Rancho Boulevard, approaching Fudge Lane intersection, taking Fudge Lane, it's going to be westbound Fudge Lane, to see it with a small wall, continuing westbound Fudge Lane. So westbound Fudge Lane. And now taking Innocence Boulevard. Now taking northbound turn Elysian Fields Freeway north. Passing by Fire Station 7 again on the freeway. 
We're going to be pulled, pulled to a popular street on the freeway. I recognize of travel now, Elysian Fields. It's not taking any exits. It's going to be committing to Del Perro Freeway currently. Incorrect lanes of travel northbound. Back into incorrect lanes, correct lanes of travel. Are you clear for pits on the highway? You are clear. Incorrect lanes of travel now. We're gonna be westbound to the Porto Freeway, taking the Los Santos Freeway exit. Standby for directions. Still continuing incorrect lanes of travel. Yep, this is gonna lead to Los Santos Freeway northbound. Unless he takes any turns. Yep, he's coming behind you all and he's making a u-turn and going back uh, southbound on the exit and he's committing for double Polar Freeway again he's eastbound Del Polar Freeway never mind he's gonna be coming to Elgin Avenue traffic ahead continuing on Del Polar Freeway again eastbound in ramp actually oh, westbound sorry westbound you. yeah you the the traffic's clear He's taking an exit, I've lost three, yeah, never mind. Yeah, I've got him. Uh, Laporte Freeway, non uh, southbound. Continuing southbound Laporte Freeway, crossing over San Andreas Avenue. Successful PIT. Box, box, box. We're gonna be above uh, Espoche Boulevard and Laporte Freeway. Responsible. And he's breaking out of the box, continuing southbound Laporta Freeway, taking the exit. It's gonna be lead to Olympic careful, Freeway. Watch out, there's a huge turn ahead. It's going now eastbound Olympic Freeway, still taking the exit. Continuing eastbound, we're passing over Alta Street. Continuing eastbound Olympic Freeway. Another successful people now, he's taking a heavy turn he's taking the exit towards La Puerta, uh, I mean Poplar Street User joined your channel. and making another U-turn going back uh, westbound Olympic Freeway well, westbound Olympic Freeway plus VC uh, incorrect lanes of travel westbound Olympic Freeway got him uh, he's going westbound Olympic Freeway taking the exit towards Strawberry Avenue I believe or Elgin Avenue and approaching the car wash Strawberry Clothing Going through traffic, continuing behind uh, Burger King or Burger Shot, going towards Davis Avenue, passing by Fire Station 3, going eastbound McDonald Street now. Eastbound, crossing the Rancho, crossing Jamestown, continuing eastbound McDonald Street, speeds about 80 miles per hour, taking the southbound turn, Little Big Orange Avenue, and coming up to Garson Avenue, traffic ahead, never mind, taking north northbound turn, watch our units, almost speed with the unit, continuing north. And Jamestown Street. Still northbound Jamestown Street coming to a little bit going, never mind again in this boulevard at West Pond, uh, passed by Rancho PD. Continuing westbound Rancho. Crossing Davis Medical, seeing the coroner's office, continuing westbound, coming out up to Elgin Avenue, going northbound under Olympic Freeway, taking the Olympic Freeway in ramp, going westbound Olympic Freeway. I'm taking an off ramp towards La Puerta Freeway, incorrect lines of travel, southbound. Still committing for La Puerta Freeway, southbound. Two units in the pursuit line. Southbound to La Puerta Freeway, going towards LSI. Incorrect lines of travel, completely. La Puerta Freeway. Correct lines, yes. heavy. Um, I don't know, that's a successful PIT. Obviously, oh, still continuing. Two units, three units in the pursuit line. Operator freeway going southbound. Yeah, it's just split off and try and get spikes on that vehicle. Try and keep uh, him on the part of freeway. He's on the freeway going southbound, passing by the green bridge uh, next to LSIA. Continuing southbound. Incorrect, incorrect lanes of Uh Successful pity. It's gonna be back ahead on the bridge, in the middle of the bridge. One unit is trying to box him over, he deceived with a pole. Still getting boxed over. And suspect he's gonna be boxed in. Uh, I'm gonna update my cat with the location. It's gonna be here, one, uh, one foot bail. He's crossing the freeway, for planes he's bound and he's dazed.
Is our stuff that's not going to be going where we can clear from the stack. User the left your channel. Channel switched. All right, guys, that pursuit is done. So that's what I mean. I really, really like that siren, but the problem is, is that it's just super quiet. So I may take a pause here in the let's play and just put in a different one so you can actually hear it. But yeah, that siren is super, super quiet. Um, that's the only thing I don't like about it, but I really like it, and that's what I hate. <laughs> I like it, but it's too quiet. It's got the old school, like, fast siren. <laughs> I don't know. It's just fun because it makes things more intense. Oh, it's getting sunny in game now too. Yeah, that's what we like. I said I may go back to the station and put in the uh, put in a bit of a louder siren, which, like I said, is unfortunate because I really do like that siren. But hey, you can't really hear it very well, which is uh, kind of important. And something else that uh, you guys may not know, like, you always see me looking behind me in pursuits. It's always good to know what's going on around you at all times in a pursuit. Know who's around you, where they are, so that way you can kind of adjust your driving accordingly. Um, it just makes things a little bit safer uh, for them as well. So that's kind of a tip and trick that I always use during a pursuit as I look behind me uh, every so often. All right, we're gonna run back to the station and grab the tow truck. All right. Not really a good way to get out of here. Oh, my radar is still on from uh, San Andreas Avenue. We'll turn that off now. We'll get back to the station, grab ourselves the tow truck, and come back out here and grab the vehicle before I do any uh, different siren additions to my game. So that was definitely a pursuit where the suspect obviously... I don't know if they were new to the server or newer to roleplay, but that was definitely a situation where it should have been over while before it was, and the reason why I say that is because they crashed a couple of times and kept going, 
when they definitely should not have. So that's one of those situations where they just didn't roleplay their crashes properly, and uh, that pursuit would have been over well, well, well before it would have been there uh, at the end if they'd actually just roleplayed properly. But unfortunately, you do run into that sometimes. The thing is with being on, in the PD, and even being in FD and SD for that matter, like, eh, SD definitely fall into the same category as PD, but even falling under the category of SD, sometimes some, a lot of the time you just kind of get the worst sometimes, I guess would be the nice way to put it. You just kind of run into that often because some people are just out there to try and get a pursuit in or debate, or sometimes they may not be out there for that, but their role play may not be that great, and you end up stuck being the stuck dealing with it regardless. So that's just kind of one of those situations that uh, you run into a lot as a cop and uh, on a server. Uh oh, I just ran a red light, guys. I'm fired. Um, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I'm done for. Uh, but regardless, you guys see my videos on Wright County. You see my videos here. Uh, it's just kind of one of those things you run into, but you just kind of take it with a grain of salt and move on. That's definitely not what makes up the majority of your roleplay situations. Most of your roleplay situations are relatively solid, high quality roleplay scenarios, and that's what you look to play for. It's just sometimes you get uh, a bad egg, and that's what that uh, case was. So, it is what it is. You move on from it, and you don't let it affect your day or your roleplay time. And, uh, let's go grab ourselves the iconic flatbed here. And, well, I don't know why I'm typing that in. You just want to do flatbed, grab that. Alright, we're going to set ourselves back to that highway. Oh, they ended up on the wrong side of the road, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Alright. Individuals. Ah, uh, turn it off! I don't want to get a copyright. Turn it off! There we go. I don't usually mind helping too much with the tow, like obviously I'm not going to like want to do every tow because you got to stop what you're doing and whatnot, but I really uh, don't mind doing the odd tow here and there for people because sometimes like some people just get caught up doing too many tows and then they hate it. Uh, so I don't mind doing the odd tow here and there, it helps the people out and makes it so other people don't have to get off regular patrol because when I play, I only play for like an hour or two at a time. so. I don't really have a whole lot of time to get into, like, in-depth scenarios like a lot of people would. Uh, so I just kind of do what I can when I get online, have fun with it, and hop off. So a tow doesn't bother me a whole lot like it might some other people. So here we go. We got the iconic flatbed that is totally fast. Not, uh, I think I'll pick up that blue Asbo, I think it was, or Blista, and impound it for the 17 days and get it off the streets and hopefully get her off the streets for a little while as well. Oh my god, we're doing a record-breaking 77 miles an hour. Might go take the Crown Vic out for a quick drive later. I haven't been driving the Crown Vic too, too much just because gas is at $1.37 a liter and I know some of you that are watching this that live in Europe are probably like, hey, that's nothing. We pay like $1.70 Euros for ours, but uh, unfortunately uh, everything here is pretty far away if you want to get anywhere. I mean, downtown isn't too far, but Nova Scotia is very rural, and mm -hmm. unfortunately that leads to the fact that, uh, th that leads to the fact that, uh, oh god, how am I going to do this? Alright, we're going to have to, like, really screw some stuff up here. So that leads to the fact that whenever you want to get somewhere, it's usually at least 15, 20 minutes away, times that by two to get back home. You end up packing on uh, decent kilometers onto your vehicle pretty easily, and unfortunately you need gas to do that, so uh, it adds up pretty quick, and I'm sure other people live in a rural area can attest to that as well. Gas can definitely make up a good portion of your bill. Alright. Honestly, I have no idea how to attach a vehicle to a tow truck, so I just roll with it and hope it's right. All right.
All right. The textures on this highway also look terrible, not going to lie. And also Rockstar is coming out with another version of Grand Theft Auto V, which is ridiculous. We do not need another version. That's just another money grab for Rockstar. Um... Uh oh. This is bad. It doesn't want to pick it up, guys. This just because it's glitching. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Damn it, it doesn't work. So the car's bugged. Oh. All right. Well, nothing we can do there. We'll call ourselves into the impound lot. We'll still roleplay it. So we have our invisible vehicle here. We're on route to the impound lot with our invisible vehicle. We're ready to roll. Excuse me, we're ready to roll, folks. You've seen it all here. Alright, I'm going to pause this Let's Play for a moment, and I'll be back with you guys shortly. I don't know why I even say that, because I cut out the part that I'm gone. Because <laughs> I'm going to go put in a different siren, we're going to go finish roleplaying and pounding this vehicle, and I'll be back here in a moment, which I guess for you guys it is actually a moment, but for me it'll be more like 10 minutes. Alright guys, we are back on patrol. I installed the SS2000 siren. It's not my favorite siren of all time, but uh, it was just one that I had on hand, so I just threw it in there for now, so that way you guys can at least hear it during the pursuits and whatnot. But yeah, I really, really, really like that ADK siren, so I might try and make it louder and try to archive fix it if I even remember how, because it's been so long since I made a siren here on GTA 5 that, uh, I'm gonna be honest, that's probably not gonna happen. So, uh... Like I said, that was definitely a pursuit that we just had. Not sure how much uh, longer I'll be able to play here. Probably a good 20 minutes, though, so we still should be able to encounter something. But uh, maybe I'll run back to where I was and do our radar that I've had set up and see what we can catch. We're up to 325 players now, so people are very slowly but surely getting online. But one thing I'd like to do, guys, and I know it might be a little bit boring, but uh, I don't know how you guys would feel about it, but I wouldn't be opposed to doing a county patrol of some sort at some point in a Let's Play. Uh, I'd definitely like to try it. Alright. So technically I never actually turned my radar off, so I'm just gonna... I just technically had it running the whole time, but anyway, so we're gonna set ourselves back up here and see if we can catch somebody, which we like will. Uh, when you're coming from uh, east to west, you really can't see this car sitting here because I'm hidden behind the barricade, and usually by the time they see me coming from the bridge, it is far too late. But a lot of the time, you catch somebody usually doing like 100, 120 mile an hour through here, albeit this is not the car to catch up to somebody if they're doing 120 miles an hour, but uh, you can hope and pray that you do, that's for sure. 
Uh, the Crown Vic is probably... Yeah, I'd say it's about on par with the Scout for speed. Uh, maybe a little bit... Uh, maybe a little bit faster than the Scout, but overall they're both the same. Buffalo is definitely faster than the two, and then the Interceptor is by far and away the fastest in the faction. Uh, but Buffalo isn't too, too far behind it. Alright guys, we're going after a couple of Kanjos here. It looks like they're street racing. Two top 15, show me the vehicle pursuit on a black Kanjo heading southbound on Boulevard Del Perro. Take it to Pack 1. Channel switched. User joined your channel. Alright, currently going southbound User Boulevard Del Perro. Now we're turning on Morningwood Boulevard, heading southeast, south back, southbound on Morningwood Boulevard. User now joined your channel. Currently heading west, excuse me, southeast on South Rockford Drive, southeast on South Rockford Drive. Coming up to San Andreas Avenue, turning out to San Andreas Avenue, heading eastbound, eastbound San Andreas Avenue. Eastbound San Andreas Avenue now, just passing uh, De Decker Street, still going eastbound on San Andreas Avenue, eastbound San Andreas Avenue, going to be coming under the freeway, heading eastbound now, still heading eastbound on the freeway, channel. passing the licensing area, heading eastbound San Andreas Avenue, still heading eastbound San Andreas Avenue, passing Low Power Street, still heading eastbound San Andreas Avenue. Now we're going to be heading southbound here, heading southbound on Elgin Avenue, heading southbound Elgin Avenue, coming up towards Vespucci Boulevard, taking an eastbound turn onto Vespucci Boulevard. Now we're going to be heading into the parking lot parallel to Vespucci Boulevard. Going to be coming back out now on Elgin Avenue, heading southbound Elgin Avenue. Still heading southbound on Elgin Avenue, coming up towards the Strawberry area. Coming up old comes, old right. comes. We're out of charge on this guy. Uh, reckless driving and street racing. Okay, Rizzi. Alright, currently going eastbound on Innocence Boulevard, eastbound Innocence Boulevard, now we're turning southbound on Roy Lowenstein Boulevard, southbound Roy Lowenstein Boulevard, now we're going to be taking a westbound turn onto McDonald Street, westbound McDonald Street, still heading westbound McDonald Street, coming up toward Davis Avenue, heading northbound now, northbound Davis Avenue. Now we're taking a westbound turn onto Innocence Boulevard, westbound Innocence Boulevard. Hold, comes please. Uh, pursuit line is called for last unit break out of the pursuit line. Rest of the units uh, prioritize spiking. Southbound Strawberry Avenue, southbound Strawberry Avenue now. Alright, now we're going to be turning onto Carson Avenue, heading southbound, southbound Carson Avenue. Southbound Carson Avenue now, still southbound Carson Avenue. User joined Still channel. southbound Carson Avenue, going to be coming up to Dutch London Street. Dutch London Street now heading standby. Southbound Dutch London Street, turning into the Jamestown Project area. Still going southbound through an alleyway, going to be coming back towards Dutch London Street now by Jamestown Projects. Alright, currently heading northbound now on Dutch London. Sorry, I apologize. Heading westbound Six Dutch London, du westbound Duff Lu Dutch London Street. User joined your channel. Still heading westbound Dutch London Street. Still westbound Dutch London Street, incorrectly to travel, heading on under the uh, interstate here on Dutch London Street. Passing over Davis Avenue on Dutch London, heading on the incorrect lane to travel, now correctly to travel. you gonna take over? Yeah. Still, still heading north now, currently on Dutch London. I reach the speed going about 100 miles per hour, incorrect lane of travel on uh, South London. Dutch, Dutch London, still northbound Dutch London, and it's User going to channel, be continuing down. onto Calais Avenue, heading northbound. Still north, now onto, onto Adams Apple, back on Calais, still northbound Calais Avenue, and it's going to be a eastbound turn onto the Spooky Boulevard. Still heading eastbound the Spooky Boulevard. A fault comes for second. How many occupants? Can't How many? Can't stop. Awesome. There's one occupant. Hey, watch out for that counter, he's helping him. The other counter is helping him. Yeah, and he's continuing again east, eastbound the Spooky Boulevard. There appears to be another vehicle who's entering the pursuit line. Hey, give us further backup to tag one. User we got another channel. vehicle in shooting. Uh, eastbound the Spooky Boulevard still. 
Please Captain Mario our channel. Up on the bridge, still going eastbound, and we're slowly Please losing the high rate of speed. And it's going to make its way all the way towards the... Oh, it's going to be a northbound turn onto Supply Street. Hey, hold cops. If the other Kendra appears again, take it to Tac 2. Use him. Now, westbound turn on JS Avenue. Still heading westbound to San Andreas Avenue, and it's going to be User taking Center Street, heading towards MRS. Southbound passing by MRS. User joined your channel. Okay, uh, we're terminating this pursuit. Everyone respond to panic alarm instead. This is more priority okay. compared to that. Clear time running to panic alarm. User left your channel yeah. switched. All right, we're going to the panic alarm now instead. This has been a wild day, that's for sure. <laughs> For having only 300 players online, it's certainly been insane. I think this has been more insane than the last uh, Let's Play video that I did, which had like 600 or 700 players. This is way out there. They just don't put their trunk. <laughs> they just pop their trunk open while they're driving. Yeah, so the Victor definitely has a little bit more speed than the Scout on the highway, it looks like, because I was catching up to them pretty easily there. Holy Lord! <laughs> that Victor almost flipped. <laughs> Look at the pink Kara Kara in traffic for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. That's awesome. Alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed another Let's Play. It was an action-packed one, that's for sure, and I will see you all next time.